Alright, hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to, an updated video showing you how to completely bring your Epic Touch 4G back to stock, um, Android 2.3.4. So basically this is going to bring your phone back to stock, how it was out of the box, what it's going to do is actually, it's going to overwrite your kernel back to stock kernel as well as overwrite your phone system back to uh, stock as well. So no need to restore your Android backup and then flash the stock kernel anymore. So this will help eliminate issues some people are having, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So uh, click on the link in the description of the video. You're going to need to make sure you have the uh, drivers on your computer. So click on, uh, whether you have Windows or Mac, the Samsung drivers. So click on the drivers, download them, and install them. If you don't have them already, that would be keys, I believe. And also take out your SD card of your phone. So don't have your SD card in, just a precautionary. Um, having your SD card in isn't going to really affect it, but I have noticed a couple people taking them out has caused Odin to work for them. But uh, once you have your uh, drivers installed and your SD card out, go ahead and you're going to need Odin 1.85 right here. So click and download that. It's going to be a zip file. Um, it's going to be called Odin 3 version 1.85. I'm going to go ahead and recommend you make a folder on your desktop or anywhere. I called mine Touch Odin just so I know it has to do with the Epic Touch and it's the Odin version. But you're going to need WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. Double click on this Odin 3 1.85 and inside you see some files. The only two you're really going to need is the Odin 3 1.85.exe and the Odin 3 dot i and i just those two but go ahead and hit extract two and then i just select uh, that touch odin folder on my desktop so hit extract two and hit touch odin and then hit okay once you hit okay all four of those files will be extracted into that folder so as you can see both of those files are in there so that means i'm good to go uh, when I want to run Odin, I can just double click on it and I'm good to go. So you're going to need Odin, so make sure you have Odin. And then now go back to the link in the description and download this Odin TAR. It's the stock EG30 TAR. So click on it. As you can see, stock EG30 TAR. Download it. It's a pretty big file, so be patient with the download. Uh, stock EG30.tar right there. So it uh, really doesn't matter where you have it. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And not copy, I'm just going to leave it. It's in my downloads folder, so just a heads up there. Just make sure you know where that stock EG30 TAR is. And once you have that downloaded, you can actually go to Touch Odin and then open up Odin. So double click on Odin, hit yes when it asks for user um, control. And only make sure auto reboot is checked on the left side the whole time. And then check the PDA, uh, the box next to the PDA, select the PDA box. And then go to your downloads folder or wherever that uh, stock EG30.tar is. And as you can see, it's right there and double click on it. So select that stock EG30.tar right there. And once that's in there, only auto reboots checked. That means Odin is good to go. You're ready to go with Odin. But now you need to go back to your phone without the SD card in, power it on off. In case you're wondering, I'm running the Starburst ROM right now. So just a heads up there with the lost kernel. But go ahead and sh shut off your phone and you're going to need to go into Odin mode on your device. Alright, now to get into Odin mode, you're going to need to press the volume down button and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those at the same time. So keep them held down until the screen pops up. As you can see, warning, custom OS can cause uh, problems. Hit volume up to continue. So continue. As you can see, downloading, do not turn off target. You're in Odin mode. As you can see up at the top, it says Odin mode. Now you can go ahead and plug in your phone into your PC. So go ahead and grab your uh, cable and plug it into your phone. And once it's plugged in, like so, on your PC in Odin, you should see a yellow box pop up and it should say COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what number it is, uh, as long as it says COM, that means Odin recognizes your phone. If it doesn't come show up, as I said, make sure you have drivers installed, try a different cable, try different USB ports as well if it's not showing up. But anyways, once it recognizes your phone, you're good to go. You can just hit start. Uh, it's going to take longer than flashing just a kernel since it is uh, uh, bringing your system back to basically stock. So be patient with it. My guess is it might take up to three minutes. So just a heads up there. But it's going to run through it. It's going to say some stuff. If it does get stuck um, and sits there for over, I would say... Be patient, let it sit for over six, seven minutes. If it's sitting there for over six, seven minutes, that means it's taking way too long. That means there was an interruption in the connection, anything like that. 
um, you can go ahead and uh, basically restart it. You can exit out of Odin, you can open up Odin again and try it again. You can try USB ports, try different cables, all of that good stuff just to get Odin to work on your phone in case you're having any issues whatsoever. You can also try reinstalling drivers on your PC as well. And as it's uh, c coming close to finishing, as you can see, you got a progress bar on your phone, so you're gonna have a progress bar, so just a heads up there. Uh, it sits on the factory FS screen the longest, and then it'll flash kernel, I believe, and get everything going. The modem as well, kernel, as you can see. And it should reboot your phone once it's done. As you can see, it says reset. Your phone is gonna be rebooted. It says pass. Mine took two minutes and 10 seconds, so just a heads up there. Um, just to give you an idea of how long it took on my PC. It might take longer, it might take a little shorter, depending on your PC, but as I said, I would say wait six, seven minutes. See, my phone is rebooting, stock boot screen. Um, so that's a very good sign right there that Odin has flashed that stock tar properly. Now that it's uh, rebooted and it said pass, I can go ahead and unplug my phone. So you can go ahead and unplug it. I'm gonna let it boot up and then show you guys that I'm back to stock. All right, now that my phone has booted back up, didn't take too long. Sat on the 4G screen a little while, but it did not take too long. I guess I have two launcher options, launcher and touch was launcher. I'm gonna to go to touch was launcher. And there you go. Um, my data wasn't touched. So just a heads up there, everything is was not touched at all, but what I'm going to go ahead and recommend is uh, doing a factory reset of your phone after you do do this. As you can see, I don't have overscroll glow anymore. None of those modifications, no theming modifications as well as at all. But as you can see, my home screens have stayed the same. Um, everything's back to where I placed that on my home screen. So no data was touched, but you don't have some of those stock apps because your ROM had them removed. So after you're done flashing that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, recommend powering off your phone. And then you're going to need to go back into stock Android recovery. That's not Clockwork Mod. It's obviously not a custom recovery. It's going to be your stock Android recovery, which will be on your phone. That's I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you wipe all your data on your phone just uh, to ensure everything is completely back to stock. All data was wiped uh, through the phone. So I'm going to go ahead and show you to do that. Now that your phone has shut off, you're going to need to go into stock Android recovery. Same method as Clockwork Mod, volume up and power button at the same time. So press and hold both of those and keep them held down. So keep holding it until you get into stock Android recovery. Should show uh, the Galaxy S2 screen twice, just like when you're going into Clockwork. All right, so now as you can see, um, what it did was it actually, I believe it installed the applications that it was missing, but I'm still gonna go ahead and recommend that you wipe your data. Um, I d don't think it'll be any harm if you don't, but it's just my recommendation for you, especially if you're trying to get back to complete stock. What you're gonna need to do is press the volume down button twice and highlight over wipe data slash factory reset and press the home button to select it. So press the home button and it's gonna bring you through this list and then scroll down till you hit yes to delete all user data and hit the home button again. What it's gonna do is basically reformat your phone, reset everything, and then it'll be completely back to stock out of the box. The TAR obviously doesn't touch any of the data files, but it brings your system back to uh, stock. But now once it's done doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and reboot system now, press the home button to select it. And it said update success, rebooting phone. And once it boots back up, I'll show you guys it's, uh, my data will be wiped and then I'll have those stock apps back as well. Basically Sprint TV, all those good bloat apps that I know you guys love. All right, and now my phone has completely booted back up. As you can see, all the home screen buttons are back to how they were out of the box, back to stock. Sprint IDs there, Sprint Zones there. I'm gonna go to my app drawer and show you those bloat apps are there. So Media Hub. Um, I'm not seeing Sprint TV, any of that good stuff, so what I'm going to go ahead and recommend you do is actually go back into Clockwork and then just reboot your phone. My guess is after you do that, um, not sorry, not Clockwork, Stock Android Recovery. I can do that real quick. I'm going to shut down my phone, go back into Stock Android Recovery, and then just hit Reboot System Now. I'm not going to wipe data. I'm just going to hit uh, Reboot System Now after I go into Stock Android Recovery, and I'll come back once my phone boots back up. All right, so just a quick peek of what I was talking about. It said, installing APK successfully updated application. So just going back into the stock Android recovery did that, and then just reboot your system. So press the home button, it'll reboot your phone, 
and when it boots back up you should have all those stock apps back and you should be completely back to stock. Alright, now that my phone has booted back up, uh, my phone was factory reset as you know and now I'm going to go to my app drawer. Come on. Oh, it's checking for firmware update. That's why I'm going to cancel it. Uh, but I'm going to go back to my app drawer, and as you can see now, there it is. Uh, Sprint Mobile, Sprint Music Plus, Sprint Radio, Nova 2 HD, uh, Sprint TV, all those wonderful bloat apps. But see, now you're back to complete stock. Your factory uh, resetted back to stock as well. You're good to go. You can return your phone for any warranty reason or if you just wanted to go back to stock for any reason whatsoever if you're having issues with your phone. But if you run into any problems at all, have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to help you out. Leave a comment. Um, and I'll be answering any questions. Be sure to leave a comment if you like this video as well. Uh, but as always, you Feel free to subscribe as well for future how-to videos, and thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.